The summer of 2006, I was in a hit and run as a pedestrian. I was run over in a crosswalk. I had finished working and was uh, coming home from work along the, the Bow River pathway and crossing a, like a marked uh, pedestrian crosswalk. And as I was going across, someone came on the inside lane and I went like through the front bumper uh, and I went through the front windshield and kind of somersaulted in the air over top of the vehicle and landed on my head and neck on the, on the road behind. And I remember just this involuntary screaming. I'd, I had never been in so much pain in my life, you know, the, the physical pain. And it was just a, a shock, like tremendously painful. I underwent a corrective surgery, put a titanium rod uh, through my tibia in my left leg and left the fibula to kind of heal and repair on its own. It took about six or eight months before I was able to walk on my own again. Prognosis is that I'd get back to doing everything I had done before, you know, soccer, weightlifting, rock climbing, all these other sports, one of which I've done throughout my life has been running. But I was never able to get back into running at all without it being incredibly painful after five or ten minutes. Two years after the accident, I had a final surgery where they took uh, the screws out of my leg and with the hope that that should take away any pain that I had have residually with running. And sure enough, after the surgery, following recovery, I was able to be without pain. This second surgery uh, coincided with the final year of my undergrad, which is when we have to do this honors thesis research project. I thought, well, what about studying my own body, going from one extreme of mobility to the other? And at the moment, just opportunistically, you know, I'm at one extreme of mobility. I'm not able to walk following this surgery, you know, or s starting at point zero. Like, what about at the end of the project, trying to go to the other extreme of mobility in this short kind of time frame. And so we came up with a project to see if by the end of the project that following summer if I could run this ultra marathon that I had just seen a poster for, uh, which is called the Canadian Death Racing Grand Cache in Northern Alberta. So over the course of the year did a suite of kind of biometric testing, testing physical and physiological kind of changes in my body, testing, measuring performance of my body as I went from not being able to run to attempting to run so far, uh, and then also journaling about how I'm feeling, what I'm thinking about the changes in my body and what I notice over the course of, of the project. At the end of the project, I, had, I ran the, the Canadian Death Race and I finished it. So I achieved you know, this goal of the other extreme of mobility. It was one of the most painful days of my life. Maybe the next most painful day was the day I'd been run over by the car. And that was you know, a much more immediate and acute kind of pain, whereas this one was self-imposed. You know, it was more and more painful the further I continue to go. I was taken by just the experience of what was happening during the course of the ultra marathon and all the training that had led up to it. And so I went right into a master's that fall and curious about researching, studying what is the body that people have and create by doing ultra running. And so in 2014, in the fall, I started my PhD and I was doing a kind of worldwide study of what ultra running community is around the world. And I've just completed that and now I'll be starting medical school. The kind of events that it put into place were, it led me to this research project in my senior year, the final year of my undergrad, and that in turn led me to my master's work and led me into the sport of ultra running, in which I become professional as of 2013, um, or as professional as one could be in the sport, and led me to my PhD and medical school. It's, it's you know, tough to understand how all these things come to be, but it's certainly the case that without this you know, accident that happened in 2006, I likely wouldn't have been where I've been over the past 10 years. Mm -hmm.